All right, so I kept some of my promise. I said that I was going to try to catch up, watch some of the seasons, the first few seasons of the animated series from the 90s. I watched the first season. I just simply didn't have enough time to continue on from there. But now that I have seen some of it, the world that this show takes place in, X-Men 97, that is, is becoming a lot more clear to me. I had some help from the comments with this one, so thank you guys there. But Nathan Summers is Cable. Makes a lot of sense since Cable comes from the future, and obviously we saw him walk off with bishop bishop took him to the future to go and get a cure and he has all those face augmentations and just augmentations in general so i'm sure that had something to do with how they cured him and while i'm a big marvel fan i'm not as versed in the comics so if i'm missing any context from those let me know and especially with the x-men i mean i watch a lot of comic videos regarding the avengers and spider-man a lot of those kind of characters but the X-Men has kind of been a void in, in my comic book knowledge. I watched the Fox movies a lot later than most people. I didn't grow up with them. But I have been told to throw out those iterations and everything that I know about those and try to just take in what this show is feeding me as kind of a more faithful adaptation of the comics but now that i have seen season one forge is another character that i'm familiar with he was helping out bishop in the future you know with the time machine and then i saw a little bit of the setup with mr sinister at the end of season one it's revealed that he was watching gene and scott and that was as far back as season one so i'm excited to continue that show and see how all of that builds upon what i'm currently watching in this as i also mentioned i'm a little more familiar with forge now he was helping bishop in the future he was in charge of like the time machine stuff but we saw him show up in the bar to talk to storm at the end he said he was a friend of charles he said that he was going to help her get her powers back or at least he has a way to maybe get her powers back and that's interesting because i was reading up a little bit on what his character is like in the comics and i read that he made weapons or like mutant devices for the government and that he also created a device in the comics that depowered storm so i guess that makes a little bit more sense i don't know if that happens later on in the animated show and then they repower her like instantly i don't know if any of that happens so forgive me if i'm void on that at all but i'm interested to see how all of that plays out as to current problems with everybody else on the team everybody seems a little bit distraught from last episode gene and scott are starting to have problems more problems than they already had because they were disagreeing about leaving but there was a lingering shot at the end of last episode it looked like they were about to fight or at least have a deep conversation so i'm excited to see how all of that is expanded on now that i've seen a little bit of the show maybe i have a little bit more context now who knows i'm sure i'm gonna be all over the place still before we get started though do me a favor if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button like button turning on post notifications whatever guys want to do to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you want to see the full-length version of this reaction or any other reaction that i have up on the channel as well as early access to said reactions you'll find them right here on youtube on my membership page so if you guys could check those out as well i would greatly appreciate it so without further ado i'm super excited so let's go previously on x-men please don't hurt me I'm Roberto da Costa. Yeah, there were part ones and part twos and then just arcs in general in the animated series. I know that just from the Days of Future Past storyline and I know that there's future storylines like the Phoenix storyline I think is like four parts. I think that's in like season three or four but it's interesting that we're getting it in this. I mean, why wouldn't they? Just more opportunity for bigger storylines. Like that little riff. Dude, this intro is so good. Like, I know some people skip whenever they do reactions. I try not to because it makes it easier for members who are watching with, you know, the, the time queued up so they don't have to skip around constantly. For this, I don't even want to. Plus, there's something new in the intro every week. Foreshadowing something in the episode, perhaps. Let's see, we got Forge there. That was Emma Frost, right? But hopefully by, like, the sixth or seventh episode, I have this sh whole show done. Take some cream with it. Ah, oh, thanks, Remy. You're sweet. But our new boss beat you to the pot. It's three sugars. <laughs> the cappuccino, have you just taken orders? No. Luckily, I am giving them. After breakfast, the X-Men will report... Eric, you better watch out. You are creating an enemy. Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers to face a world that despises her. Yo! Someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. My parents perished. When I was a child. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, do we got some surprises for you. But first, how do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? Let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. What do we think? <laughs> <laughs> this is bogus. What's wrong with just one day where I don't have to freak out about the professor or Jean and her clone or Cyclops and his latest control issue? Yeah, a lot's happening. I would need a little break, too. 
Especially on my birthday. This one isn't mine. Never even heard of a Motendo. <laughs> Whoa, what's it doing? Whoa, I did not expect that. What is happening? What? Are they in the game? I assume I won. Wait. <gasps> They're in the game. Whoa, where'd the mansion go? Well, you're getting to go somewhere, kind of. You know, it would be a lot easier if you just used your powers. What if there's cameras around? <laughs> Do you really think everyone is focused on you? Yeah. Yeah, this is a life or death situation. Wait a second. It could be a trap. A phone booth trap? That'd be creative. Guys, everything is glitching. How are you not like, what is going on? Oh, hold up. Genosha? But, like, way back when, Genosha? I was trapped here with Storm. Gambit, too. And a bunch of other mutants. Mm hmm Huh. Whoa. <laughs> Guys remind me of, like, Boba Fett a little bit. Her. Was that you, Hot Topic Stalker, calling us earlier on the phone? Who are you? Sister. L. <laughs> like a cyberpunk mirage. Oh, and where'd you go? Duh, we're totally in a video game. We're what? Pay attention to the young lady. Who's this Muppet? What in the name of all heaven is that? Mojo here, your primetime psycho interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. I think I remember hearing about an episode with this dude. Ratings are down, 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 and up. Uh, the next yeah, I've definitely heard about this dude. You're not just in a video game, honey. You're the star! It is your birthday. Every level is based off your own memories. Really? Me? Please. Big names are a fortune. Dazzler had a gig. Don't ask. Dazzler. Yes or no, is Taylor Swift playing her in Deadpool 3? Some are saying she's going to be playing Lady Deadpool. I don't, I don't think she's going to be playing Lady Deadpool. I think it's going to be Blake Lively. Like, that would just make so much more sense. Well, I don't want to say something scary, like if you die in the game, you die in real life, but... You do. This is the dream, Jubilee. Be young forever. Replay the golden hits. No growing up. Think about it. Jubes? Jubes. Who's the boss? Magneto. Storm. Different worlds. Divorce court. Summers versus Grey. That's not X-Men! Huh. This is giving me like interdimensional cable vibes from Rick and Morty. It's loading. Here we go. This episode's also giving me Gravity Falls vibes too. I don't know what it is. I guess there's a lot of like arcade-like episodes. The laser tag one. the whole vibe of this oh that's a big boy oh this this person that wasn't man talk about simpler times now helmet heads bossing us around and telling me how to spend my birthday helmet head probably find a way out of here Rush. Just wake up. Gotta set yourself up in a chair above a bathtub and then have somebody push you in there. And then you'll wake up. It's like Inception. This talkie talk is forever. What? Over? Does that mean he's dead? He's got a pattern of attack. Typical boss battle shenanigans. <laughs> I like his design with the red eyes. Roberto! Med pack. Or what she said. I thought I told you to get rid of her! Did I die? Was I dead? Oh, thank goodness. I thought I lost you. Anime eyes. This young lady did take down old Magneto. Bow before the Lord of Magnetism. You were saying? What? Whoa, that was not magnetism. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who is this? She's a plot twist. She's in league with Mojo. This is it, Acosta. Like I said, we go way back. What? I'm gonna hit pause here for a second. I got a few questions. Yeah, Explain me too. Explain 
everything! Yes, please. Running endless trial loops with you two was too risky, so Mojo needed beta testers. Digital replicas of me. Oh. Before Mojo killed the beta, I figured out a glitch and hacked my way through here before deletion. Figures my game has cheat codes. This is crazy. So many layers. Within layers. Within layers. Living doesn't get cheat codes or extra lives. So Magneto was right. A bit. But he's totally wrong about one thing. Video games rule. They do. And I wish I had time to play them anymore. Two Jubilees. I found Mojo. I mean, how could you miss him? <sighs> Guys, I think he fell off his diet. Fine by me. <laughs> it's water weight. Whoa! <clears throat> What's the testing I'm throwing to a commercial during a video game? I really like the powers that she's displaying. The older Jubilee, that is. Time to end you nasty glitches. <laughs> Whoa, the visuals. So does this mean he's dead dead? You die in the game, you die in real life, right? No, never play Motendo again. I think he deserves that after what happened to him. Mmm, so it's like a second half to the episode. My papa's bison chili. It's a leaner cut. Gives room for the spices to do their magic. Do they have a thing, like in the comics? Kind of feels like they're setting up for the tension. If you're needing a neat toaster or a thing that'll store your mutant powers. Or a bowl of this delicious chili. Damn, I want some chili. <laughs> I miss soaring. The wind in my hair, so powerful it's hard to breathe, but so fresh is to be worth it. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. What a blessing. Well, now he might be able to help you. Looks like you got creative. Keep up. I'm not building you a faster horse. <laughs> what a rude little man. Yeah, they're definitely setting up something between them. You more than anyone know how fast the weather can change. For more than one reason. One, because her weather manipulation abilities. And two, because her powers were taken away. Weather changed real quick. Okay, Aurora. Give it a try. Winds? Heed my command. Yeah, I think it's gonna take a bit. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Rise, winds, and move the desert sands. Is that her, though? Yeah, no. Please, winds, hear me. Yeah, that's gotta be so tough. And her being away from her family, too. Like, she may think that her handling it on her own is good for her. But she needs to have somebody that she can talk to. And I'm glad that she has somebody like Forge. But her being around her family like Jean and just the rest of the X-Men would, I feel, be very beneficial for her. After the war, the Defense Department offered to help me. As long as I helped them build some devices. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. Yeah, so they are doing that storyline. You made these? No. A scientist in Scotland did. Using my early designs, rough strokes at best. So you did make them, technically. You are a goddess. Powers be damned. How do you not see that? Aurora, look at me. She didn't know what to feel after hearing that. Angry or sad. I love you. You meant to make me a goddess. Huh. It's a little fast for I love you, but... Sinister? Aurora! I was just coming upstairs after you. What? What? How did I return here? What the hell is going on? <laughs> what? Get out of my home, you damn demon! Ah! Ah! Is this real? You live. Disappointed. No. It can't be. I feast on misery, and I, the adversary, shall not waste my meal. It almost sounds like her a little bit. What? 
Yo, I'm not happy. I'm not happy that they did, they ended that there. All right, so first off, the first half of the episode can be seen as filler, which is probably why they didn't make it an entire episode of its own. But I thought it was fun. I had heard about Mojo before and uh, like him throwing, I guess, galactic TV shows or hosting events, something, something of the sorts. But he mentioned Dazzler. I thought that was cool. I do know who that is. I wasn't familiar with the four-armed lady that he had working for him, but I think Morph turned into her last episode or two episodes ago before Jean showed up. But I thought that episode was cool and getting to see the budding romance between Jubilee and Sunspot I thought was nice. And just some of the action and some of the animation techniques that they used in that scene where she was fighting Mojo, I thought was done really well. The visuals have just been outstanding. Moving on to the second part of the episode, which is a part one in itself. Motendo was the first half, and then Life Death Part 1 is going to be this. I don't know if they're going to separate two episodes again next week and, and like kind of just do two mini episodes in one, one to finish off this arc and then start another one. Who knows what they're going to do? But as I said in the intro, I read up a little bit of what Forge was all about. I saw the thing about him creating devices, obviously, the callers in this show to take out mutants or to help apprehend humans. But like I also read, Storm and him were involved with each other in one way or not. And whenever she found out that he had created the devices in the comics, she became like very standoffish with him and rightfully so. Obviously, it's not directly his fault that her powers are gone, but it kind of is. He created the designs, but obviously she walks out and she's not happy with that. But what the f what is going on at the end? This demon bird just comes out of nowhere. I thought it was Mr. Sinister at first and she was like in a dream and that's where he went after last episode. But I guess he wouldn't. I, why would he want to follow her? She doesn't have powers at this point, but this bird looks like it kills forge and then it has storm and i thought it was a dream but i don't think it is i have no idea what's going on there i literally cannot even make any guesses and while i think this is my least favorite episode just because of the nature of it i'm not a huge fan of whenever they separate two episodes make them shorter and just combine them into one which is kind of what they did here i would have liked to just see a full episode of just storm and, and and forge for this first episode maybe throw in a subplot with jubilee and sunspot but i don't think that the two-parter works as well narratively but i'm excited to see the second half of life death see what all of that entails know what the hell the creature bird monster thing was that took her but let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button like button turning on post notifications whatever you guys want to do to support the channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you're interested in seeing the full length version of this reaction or any of the reactions that i have up on the channel as well as early access to said reactions you'll find them right here on youtube on my membership page so if you guys could check those out as well i would greatly appreciate it. so hopefully you guys did enjoy and i will see you all in the next one